Howdy ho guys and gals. Well, if you've been around the internet for a while, you've, you've heard the phrase, real pros don't shop at Harbor Freight. Now, unfortunately for the people who say that, that's not even remotely true. And so what we've done is we've gathered up, in fact, I did a survey of professionals and asked them, hey, besides the common like disposable, consumable kind of stuff, sanding pads, tarp, stuff like that, what actual tools do you rely on from the old Harbor Freight? And we got that list here, at least the top ones on the list to, to take a look at and see what the pros are actually using over there. So let's jump through the list. Now, first up, what we got, this is the old standby that I've seen time and time again and believe it or not pittsburgh sockets uh i have the pittsburgh pro here uh because a lot of people are like well i won't take any set that's non-skip well this is 10 through 19 non-skip that's your standard set from anybody else and then it also has 21 22 and 27 think of those as a bonus but that means 10 through 19 that's a nine non-skip sockets in a row for 29 dollars with a lifetime warranty you can see why a lot of budget-minded pros will opt to go with harbor freight when it comes to impact sockets because impact sockets it's not a matter of if they break but when you use them long enough you put enough impacts on send those ooga duggas eventually something's going to happen and be able to just walk into a harbor freight throw it on the counter and get a replacement and be out and on your way in five minutes or so it has a lot of value to some people but let's keep going because when it comes to mechanics tools that's not all one of the old standbys is the pittsburgh pro breaker bar i i love this breaker bar i've had one for years um you know that said they you know they've come out with replacements and all sorts of other stuff for these but this is still the old standby and when it goes on sale at what is it like 16 dollars or something like that it's an absolute must have uh for for any toolbox now that said you know the pittsburgh and the pittsburgh pro they've been great good standby stuff but you know harbor freights in the past six years has really become something new and and just getting away from just having the basic level tools to their new good better best kind of platform and now you have stuff like icon and the icon tools when they came out of course they were you know everyone everyone threw a fit and they are like oh these are trash tools they'll never last they'll never be anything harbor freight needs to stay in their lane it was weird people trying to gatekeep companies telling them that they're not allowed to make better tools that was odd but in the was it three years since that happened i think it came out in 2019 in that time they've pretty much shut up most of the people who are actually being honest about it you know you still have some people who are biased because they want to justify whatever but the, there's plenty of guys and gals out there who are like you know i am a pro in a real shop i've been using tools for years i decided to try these out uh when somebody walked off with my you know whatever and i haven't looked back uh and again it's that case of it, it's they're buying often the same quality tools from sometimes similar manufacturers if not the same manufacturer in many cases and offering that lifetime warranty that's right there in store and as such the icon ratchets have made a, and other tools the wrenches the ratchets the sockets the all the the specialty tools everything over there at the icon has really made a name for itself and kind of giving the tool trucks a black eye in the process. Now, here's another standby a lot of people adopted early on. And that is the Braun 500 lumen LED rechargeable magnetic work light here. This thing was competing with a lot of the work lights you'd see off the tool trucks and doing as good, if not a better job for it fractions of the price 29.99 but you know it didn't have you know you keep using it you use it every day it gets dropped it gets banged around uh eventually even eventually these will die out well harbor freight stepped up the game there and they came out with the icon version of essentially the same light this thing is robust it's nice it's not that much more this is a solid work light that a lot of guys are, are that are, i've been talking to are like you know i use the brawn i check this thing out he's like this thing's fantastic i i love this 39 40 dollars for something like that i mean how much is the tool truck version going to cost you all right and this one boy this was such a game changer that snap-on sued harbor freight over it and had to settle out of court and basically you know tear up their papers and walk away because harbor freight exposed them for selling a made in china jack and in and basically insinuating that it was usa quality from snap-on in fact this came out of the same factory snap-on was selling their jack for, for it was nearly identical with nearly identical specs and features in fact it's so good that harbor freight out of the the box they don't do this with a lot of stuff 
has, and this has been this way for years. If I could find it, where is the warranty in here somewhere? I know it is. Anyway, the warranty on this, I think, is two years, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I believe it's got a two-year warranty on it, which is, you know, how, what other products do they just slap that? There we go. Oh, my bad. Three years. <laughs> three years from from date of purchase on that that is a fantastic tool right there a lot of guys and gals uh in the trades you walk into any any uh shop i in fact i have a a guy that i know over in bozeman he's all snap on he's a snap on guy try it true blue i buy a snap i don't buy i look down i'm like there's 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 a harbor freight jack right there he's well the jacks of course yeah of course and, Let's keep it. Boy, this video is going to tick off a lot of the tool truck aficionados, the people who cry, buy once, cry once. As we say, buy smart, don't cry at all. All right. And, you know, and as good as the, the Super Duty is, we get a lot of these. And this is my favorite jack that Harbor Freight sells. This is a three ton long reach low profile. So not only is it lower, it actually lifts higher, allows further reach, which is great for working on small cars, also great for working on bigger trucks. I use it to lift my one-ton uh, Ram 3500. Does a great job of it. It's got the quick pedal there to get get it up and get it working. Then you go to the the uh, the, the bar on it to uh, lean into it and, and actually lift it up. This is a great jack. Now, $240 on this. And that's not the sale price, of course. Now, this only comes with the standard Harbor Freight 90-day warranty. And some people are annoyed by that. I've had mine for years, never had a problem. But, you know, that's the thing with Harbor Freight is they give you the option, and people should think about this uh, kind of reverse the way, because they look at it going, well, I could buy the extended warranty. Well, they, I wish they would sell it with the full price with the warranty and then give you the option to opt out of it, because that would change the way people think about it, because the reality is that's what they're doing. You can buy the extended warranty, but they're showing you the bare bones, you know, price right there. Extended warranty, two-year warranty on this would be $60, make this a $300 jack before any kind of sale prices. But when it goes on sale, that would drop it down to the same realm as the uh, the Super Duty. I think the Super Duty was, what, $280, $290, less than that. So would you rather get the standard one at $290 or the Long Reach Low Profile for $10 more? Think about that. All right, let's keep moving along. One of the ones that I, again, I said I can't walk into a mechanic shop anymore without seeing one of these. They're they're everywhere. You, you'll see all sorts of, you know, high-end boxes and stuff. I'll see some um, some Matco. I'll see uh, a Cornwall box or all, and I, you'll see the Snap-on boxes everywhere. But yet, right, parked right next to them, you'll see one of these. And this is, as you can see, this is old, the original U.S. General Pro model. I don't know what the Pro back in the day was, but these have been just go to one they're, they're they're the default top of the line when it comes to the 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 uh the home gamer the the shade tree mechanic uh you know call them prosumer is is an understatement the i would call them i rank them in the value pro kind of level they're an absolute tank uh, and you know to go along with that how many shops have you seen this in you know they're everywhere they're you know, people said, they, oh, they wouldn't hold up. They won't hold up. They'll fall apart after, you know, a few months of use. And yet here we are years later, and they're just getting more and more and more popular. It's like you can't stop them. Now, of course, Harbor Freight has since stepped up with the Icon one. In fact, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, they when they launched, they sent me the Icon tool cabinet. It's beautiful. It's glorious. Uh, I don't I don't have it anymore because we moved and it was too hard. It, it's more, I'm not a professional. I'm not turning wrenches for a living, and as such, I don't need something like this. It is it is honestly overkill, I think, for 99% of the mechanics out there. Now, if you want to have a nice box that's a snap-on grade, a Matco grade, that, that's in that at that level, it's a beautiful box at a great price. I definitely say so just check out their scratch and dent section. That said, the, the new Series 3 U.S. Generals are coming out, and if you saw my video from SEMA last November... If you didn't, you got to check it out because they're going to be out here in a couple weeks. And they are going to change the game. All right, next up, we got to talk about welding. Now, Harbor Freight's been the home for welders for years. Now, pro welders, probably not so much. I mean, you can a pro can use any tool. Let's be honest about that. But when they changed and they came out with the titanium and the Vulcan system, wow. I mean, are they going to be like assembly line welders with 100% duty cycle? No, no, they're not. But I know a lot of pros who are using these kind of welders. The Omni Pro is a top one. And the, of course, the Outlaw, which has got the generator, gas generator built into it, which means you can take it anywhere. You don't, you got your power built into it. You're just ready to go. You can weld anywhere you go with this. I've seen these 
being used, uh, you know, working out in, in the fields out in uh, in Montana, you know, fixing tractors and stuff because, you know, the stick welder like that, it's great for doing those kind of welds. And, you know, you got the power to take with you there. Speaking of power, something else you're starting to see, again, people said you'll never see these on job sites, and yet we're seeing them on job sites. That's the Predator Generators. The bang for the buck, they're hard to beat. They got great reliability. The Predator Motors have proven themselves at this point. A lot of people like to say Consumer Reports ranked them a, a, one of their editor's choice. Uh, yeah, they've got the inverter generators. We run the, an inverter generator at home, but if we're on a job site, you really don't need that kind of level of finesse. A good open frame one like this is going to give you the most, you know, watts for the buck, as it were, and that you're starting to see them more and more and more in lots of different... Uh, uh, I see them on tons of uh, food trucks as well. They're running those things constantly all day long, Clearly, they're working for someone. All right, the F-style clamp. Now, I've, I've been really negative on their gray quick-release clamps, but these are a go-to, and I've seen these used by everyone. I've seen welders use those, woodworkers use those, mechanics using these things for all sorts of stuff. Uh, I've seen them in body shops. It's it's ridiculous how, uh, how good these clamps are for the money, especially when you get them on sale. You see one of those sales where Harbor Freight's like, you know, anything under, you know, 30% off anything under $10 or $20, or something like that. Grab a slew of these because you know the answer to the question of how many clamps is enough. And the answer, of course, is there is no, there's no, there's never enough. You always need more clamps. And these are fantastic clamps. But Harbor Freight was like, no, hold my beer. We're not done yet. And they launched the Bremen line. And if you're a woodworker, oh, my gosh. The performance for the money you're getting out of the Bremen line is ridiculous. And the quick release clamps have restored my faith in quick clamps. Because I tell you what, the old ones were terrible. The Irwin ones were okay. These are even better than those. They're fantastic. The, 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 these clamps, ask any woodworker who's used them. They're going to tell you they're, they're, they're as good as you're going to find out there for the money. It's just not even close. Now, one area where Harbor Freight never was, never really managed to break into the true professional level was in pliers. Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, Harbor Freight, we love you and all, but the pliers were, they were okay at best. Uh, some of them were even worse than that. Uh, but you know what? Again, the good, better, best hit us and the Doyle line. Oh my gosh, I have stocked my, my toolbox full of Doyle pliers. Every time they have one of those sales, anything under $10, anything under $20, you know, 30% off, I grab another plier, I grab another plier. I'm always, I've been stocking up. I have a huge selection of Doyle pliers. You know, I've got the Tecton pliers, I have Kniepex, I have a bunch of, they are right up there, just right up there with all the other ones, with my channel locks. I've got some old channel locks that have been around long enough. They're no longer blue, they're green. You know what I mean if, if you're into channel locks. Uh, the... Uh, and the Doyle is just, I'm always astounded every time I pick them up by how good the quality is for that price for $10. A tongue and groove, eight inch for $10. And that's not the sale price. Sale price on that is what, seven, eight dollars? It's ridiculous. But they're not done yet. Oh, they're like, you like the Doyle? What do you think of the Icon? That is Kniepex grade right there through and through, $40. And, you know, the Kniepix one's selling for $60, but yet these go on sale for another $5, $10 off, depending on the, the coupon that's out there. That's ridiculous price. Now, one of the things that got me to start shopping at Harbor Freight was, you know, I bought a house, was going to do some work on it, and I just needed a basic miter saw. And I picked up, well, I got the 12-inch. The, the, they don't have the 12-inch anymore. The 10-inch Chicago Electric Compound Sliding Miter Saw. And everyone said that this, this saw is trash. And I would say 30% of the time they were right. You really had a real is issue with uh, quality control. And, uh, you know, but once you got it tuned right and everything, it was a decent saw. But it wasn't a great saw and in no means was it a professional saw. Well, Harbor Freight changed that uh, three or four years ago when they launched the Hercules. A lot of people said it was a clone of the DWS 780 from DeWalt. It wasn't very similar. I'll tell you what, though, performance-wise, it was as good, if not better, and at $300. Three, $300. Now, this is the sliding version here. This is just the regular compound miter saw, but still, oh my gosh, look at the same thing you're going to pay for from DeWalt. How about this? The it, the Hercules uh, compact uh, job site saw, it's got the now ratchet fence just like the DeWalt does everything DeWalt does, except the DeWalt is now an eight and a half inch. This is a 10 inch. All right, the earthquake. The, now, a lot of pros did switch to this. Budget pros were like, hey, this is the way we're going to go. Unfortunately, the Harbor Freight got rid of it. 
and replaced it with something even better. The Hercules line is just stepping up five year warranty, three year on the battery. The Ultra Torque, you saw, if you saw my video on it, it's fantastic. Go check out Torque Test Channel. They're going to talk about it. Guess what? Want the Long Anvil? Just released today. The Long Anvil is out there. And let's talk about the impact. This one is blowing everybody away, as is the drill. That's it, folks. The times have changed. If you hear someone saying real pros don't shop at Harbor Freight, you can tell them, then you clearly haven't been at Harbor Freight in the last decade because pros are there, as is the DIYer, the whole market. They're covering good, better, and best. If you want to shop somewhere else, it's no skin off my back. I just don't like people talking down to other folks and saying stuff that isn't true. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.